Ever wondered how to make money during a recession? In an economic downturn, it's easy to panic. But instead of fretting, let's flip the script. Make sure to watch all the way until the end for more bonus tips on making money on a downturn economy. We'll explore 13 savvy tips to help you not just survive but thrive in a financial downturn. From protecting your earning power, boosting your savings, to hunting for investment bargains, there's a world of opportunities to seize. Remember, be fearful when others are greedy, and greedy when others are fearful. A wise mantra from Warren Buffett. Let's dive into the tips. The first tip is to protect your earning power. In times of financial downturn, maintaining your income sources becomes critical. This could mean strengthening your position in your current job, diversifying your income streams, or even learning new skills to make yourself more marketable. Remember, a recession is not just about survival, it's also an opportunity. The key is to stay proactive and adaptable. After all, without income you can't take advantage of the bargains around you. Secondly, boost your savings. In times of economic uncertainty, having a safety net of savings becomes even more crucial. It's like your personal insurance policy against financial downturns. These funds can be your lifeline, helping you navigate through tough times without going into debt. The more you have tucked away, the better equipped you'll be to weather the storm. So, make it a priority to save more, spend less, and build up that nest egg. Having a good amount of savings can provide you with financial security. Our third and fourth tips are about house hacking and short-term investments. House hacking is a savvy strategy where you buy a multi-unit property, live in one unit, and rent out the others. This way, you not only get a place to live, but also earn rental income, which can substantially offset your mortgage payments. Now let's talk about short-term investments. These can act as a defensive mechanism during a recession. When the market is volatile, it's wise to hold on to assets that can be quickly liquidated. This might include money market funds, treasury bills, or high-yield savings accounts. These investments typically don't offer huge returns, but they do provide safety and liquidity, which are crucial during an economic downturn. So, house hacking can help you stay financially afloat, and short-term investments can protect your capital during uncertain times. Remember, the goal is to play defense with short-term investments and offense for long-term. Fifth and sixth tips are about buying discounted stocks and not fixating on your net worth. Now on to the strategy of buying heavily discounted stocks. When the market is down, it's a golden opportunity to buy stocks at a lower price. Think of it as a sale in the stock market. It's like buying your favorite pair of shoes, but now they're half off. You're getting the same value, but at a discounted price. It's important to remember though, that you should only buy stocks that you believe have a strong future. Meanwhile, it's also crucial not to obsess over your net worth during a recession. Why? Because net worth is a snapshot in time and during a recession it will likely go down. But remember, it's not a loss unless you sell, it's a paper loss. The market will eventually recover and so will your net worth. Keep in mind now is not the time to fixate on your net worth. The seventh and eighth tips involve dollar cost averaging and maximizing your 401 KA contributions. Dollar cost averaging is a technique used by investors where a fixed amount of money is invested in the same asset on a regular schedule, regardless of the asset's price. During a recession, prices are often low, making it a prime time to buy more shares. When prices rise again, you'll have a larger quantity of shares that have appreciated in value. On the other hand, maximizing your 401k contributions during a recession can be a smart move. It allows you to buy more shares when prices are low, which can lead to higher returns when the market recovers. Plus, the money you contribute to your 401k is tax deferred, meaning you won't pay taxes on it until you withdraw it in retirement. These strategies are not about making a quick buck, they're about long-term wealth building. So, stay patient, keep investing, and take advantage of these financial downturn strategies. Remember, maximizing your 401k contributions can set you up for financial success in the long run. Creating passive income streams and taking advantage of lower interest rates are our ninth and 10th tips. Now, let's demystify these two. Creating passive income streams is like planting seeds today and reaping the fruits tomorrow. It's all about setting up systems that generate income with minimal daily effort. Think rental properties, dividend stocks, or even a blog that earns ad revenue. On the flip side, when economies slide into recession, central banks usually cut interest rates. Lower interest rates mean cheaper borrowing costs. 
So, if you're an aspiring entrepreneur, it could be the perfect time to take out a loan to start that dream business. Or perhaps you're a homeowner. You could refinance your mortgage and save thousands over the term of your loan. In essence, passive income provides financial stability, while lower interest rates offer opportunities to invest and grow wealth. Lower interest rates during a recession can be a golden opportunity. The final three tips involve buying investment properties, purchasing businesses at a discount, and selling your stuff. Let's delve into these strategies. First, investment properties. During a recession, property prices often drop, making it an opportune time to buy. This is the time when you can find properties at a significant discount. It's like a sale in the real estate market. And who doesn't love a good sale, right? When the economy recovers, these properties can provide a steady flow of rental income or be sold at a higher price. Next, buying businesses at a discount. It's not uncommon for businesses to struggle during a recession, and some owners may be looking to sell. This creates a golden opportunity for you to step in. You can acquire these businesses at a lower cost and then revitalize them when the economy picks up. It's a strategic move that requires careful analysis but can lead to substantial profits in the long run. Finally, selling your stuff. This is a quick and easy way to generate immediate cash flow. Think about it. We all have items lying around that we no longer use. Selling these items can provide the extra cash needed to invest in properties or businesses. Remember, a recession might be the perfect time to buy that investment property or business you've been eyeing. So, those are the 13 tips on how to make money during a recession. From protecting your income and boosting your savings, to savvy investing and creating passive income streams, there are plenty of opportunities to capitalize on during a financial downturn. The key is to stay calm and make smart financial decisions. Don't let fear drive your choices. Remember, most people spend economic downturns panicking. That makes it a great time to do the exact opposite. Stay calm, keep investing, and hunt for bargains. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment for more Making Money content.